Hello friends and family of YouTube. Man, I have a Jayco 23RB I want to show you today. I'll tell you what's really cool about it. It does have a slide, but this to me is just as functional with the slide on the inward position. So uh, yeah, you could use anything, everything in here without having the slide in. So uh, yeah, y'all are going to enjoy this one. I know I am. I'm going to love it. So, y'all stick around. Here we go. And we got a little bit of road noise and wind noise, but we will be inside within one minute. We have a backup camera uh, pre-wired already up here. We've got a spare tire mounted on the back bumper. We have four corner jacks. We've got satellite hookup. We've got 30 amp uh, service here. We've also got an outside shower if you need one. We've got the city water connect and the holding water connect right here together. And you've got dual axle, and what's cool about this is it does come with Goodyear tires from the factory. And as I mentioned earlier, this does have a slide out, but it's not a very big slide. To be honest with you, if I was even at a, if I pulled into a Walmart parking lot wanting to take me a nap, I wouldn't mind putting this slide out because it is not that, not, it's not going to be intrusive. Anyway, you've got a good bit of storage going on in here. You've also got uh, enough room to put two uh, batteries up here. You've got two large propane tanks. Got your electric tongue jack. And it is pre-wired for solar. You can do up to 20 amps on here. Let me see if this is unlocked. Man, yeah. Look at the storage in this thing. Woo, man, you put a mattress in there, you could take a nap. All right. And outside here we do have, we've got an awning out here. We've also got uh, two speakers and you've got an area where you can hook up your TV right here. You've got an outlet right there and also your satellite hookup. And we've got us a two-step entry. Let's go inside this 23RB right here at Rocket RV. There's their sign. All right, so let's go inside this thing. And there is the door that we just came into and man we are facing the front of the trailer And right beside the bed. I love that they did this. They gave you uh, 110 outlets on both sides of the bed So you can uh, hook you a CPAP or whatever you want to on this thing And I'm assuming that this is probably uh, it does say Simmons. So it is a Simmons mattress I'm assuming that is a uh, probably a full size so anyway, you've got storage on both sides of the bed. You can hang you some uh, shirts, clothing, whatever you need to in there. You've got some storage right here. It sits back about 20 inches. And uh, both sides are identical. And let's see if we can't lift this up and see what's going on under here. Yep, they put a couple of struts on here too to make it easier for you. But you could definitely store uh, a lot of stuff underneath the bed. All right. And right beside, right beside the bed, you've got a good size window and uh, give you plenty of natural lighting. You can also open it up, to give you a little cross breeze. And right beside the bed area here, headed towards the back, and we got us a good size couch. This couch will fold down. It'll transform and make into a good size little bed there uh, for one uh, good size adult or a couple of small kids. And right above that, don't let me forget about that window man that is a nice size window well, you've got storage it goes all the way across here you can see we got three doors so there's plenty of room there and you've also got a shade back here you can pull that shade down give you some privacy and this is this is your uh this is your slide right here and as we saw outside the slide is not very deep so even if that slide was to close across here it would cut your floor space in half so you still got access to get to anything and everything in here that I'm showing you today. If you never want to use that slide, you can get away with it. Got a 110 outlet right here beside the, uh, the kitchen countertop. And I love that they gave you some kitchen countertop. A lot of companies these days, for whatever reason, don't believe in giving you enough countertop. They give you these huge, massive, massive sinks and they never give you any countertop. 
which to me makes it worthless. Even if you've got all that countertop, what are you gonna do? Once you get done washing a dish in it, you have nowhere to put it. All right, so you've got a, about a 16 inches or so of uh, space inside these cabinets up here. You got two of them going all the way across. And you've also got you a microwave right here. That is just a standard microwave, which is fine because you do have a three burner stove top, but you've got an oven right here. So you can cook you anything you need to inside of there. And you've also got you some storage down below your sink, plenty of room. And you've also got drawers. That's something we also don't see enough in RVs is drawer space. So you got enough room to put you some cutlery in there and you've also got a place to put some some of the uh, smaller items you might want to keep in there and down below here you've got a storage that also opens up underneath each one of these uh, portions of your uh, dinette so as you can see here is your dinette and this dinette will make also into a smaller bed area and let me go ahead and show you this price so uh, yeah, if y'all have got any questions or anything, y'all can give them a call. They will be glad to answer whatever questions you may have. Let me uh, show you this too. Man, there is plenty of storage in here. And right here, you can put, uh, you've got a USB center right here. You've got two USB ports. You've got a couple of 110 outlets. You could mount you a huge TV right here. You could put one on a swivel i would imagine you can probably mount it to that wall as well i do not know i do not say uh let's see tv must be locked in position okay so it doesn't say anything about having usually there's a backer on here but you can tell that right here is a stud so you could mount you a uh, tv right there and if you did have the tv mounted right there on a swivel you could watch it from this dining area you could also watch it from the couch area and you could also watch it from the bed area i tell you what i am liking more and more about this unit the longer i stay in it especially like i said that it's fully functional with the slide in but man to know that you've got you've got a dinette because like on my rv my dinette becomes the bed so once you make the bed uh, you never have a dinette again. So in this one here for a small couple Not only do you have a dinette somewhere you can sit and eat You've got somewhere you can sit in uh, somewhat luxury You've got countertop space there if you're uh, cooking you something to eat And you've also got your bed. You don't have to convert anything Everything can stay naturally the way it is. Everything's fully functional. I like that this to me would feel more like a home on the road than a lot of trailers that I have looked at. All right, so going through the kitchen here, let me show you a little bit more storage. You've got some storage here. Put you some uh, food or some pots and pans, whatever you want to, need to, and you got you some storage area there as well. And looks like right below the refrigerator, we got another drawer. Man, yeah, you can never have enough or too much storage. That's impossible. And you've got a Dometic uh, refrigerator-freezer combo here. And right below the uh, refrigerator-freezer is your heating system. That's what's going on here. All right, so let's go into the bathroom. Check it out. I love the colors that they've got going on. I like this dark walnut coloring. Very rich style. I like the looks of that. So you've got plenty of storage inside here. You've got a good size sink. And look at all of that. Plenty of room down there. They did give you a toilet paper holder. I like that. And right beside the toilet, you can, that'd be a good place to put dirty laundry. Put you a little laundry basket in there. Keep it stored back here. And you've got room right here as well. Plenty of storage. And let's see what we got going on in the medicine cabinet. That's the deepest medicine cabinet that I have ever seen in an RV. It's about six inches deep. Hmm. So plenty of room there and it also had a mirror on it and right here You've got a uh, window in the bathroom so that you get done sitting on this toilet If you're just real happy about what went on here. Hey, you can tell everybody out that window All right, and right over the toilet. You've got a fan here You could upgrade to a larger size fan if you wanted to 
And while we're pointing at the ceiling here, let's go ahead and show you that over the shower, you've got a skylight area to give you a little extra head space. And that will come in handy. Me being 6'1", I tell you what, that would help me quite a bit in this situation. All right, so you've got a corner unit. I've shown you quite a few of these before, but if you haven't seen them before, these doors here will roll back and forth and this one will meet to it. And they're magnetic and that keeps them together so that while you're in the shower, everything stays, uh, stays together, keeps the water out. You can take this rubber band type system right here and wrap it around that knob. And that keeps these doors from bouncing back and forth and shattering all over the floor. All right, and right here, I believe it's a little too dark to show up, but this is open cabinet space. There are no doors here. This is just open space where you could put clothing in there, towels, shoes, whatever you wanted to. All right, so while we're back here at the very, very back of this RV, let me show you the layout of the land. And again, look at how spacious this RV is. I do not have a way of knowing the weight, how much this thing weighs, but I guarantee you it's not a whole lot because of the fact that it does not have a huge slide out on it. So I would think as far as like if you had something like a F-150 or a Chevy 1500, I would think that you could pull it with this. That's my guess. Now I'm, I'm no expert in that area, but that is my guess. But I love the layout of this. Pretty sweet. And I didn't talk about it, but you do have an air conditioner right here in the center. And the good of that is that helps keep the whole thing centrally cooled down. That way you don't have just a cool area or a hot area. I've also got plenty of lighting, man. I love that they've got the lighting up in here the way they do. And you've also got speakers throughout. The... And you've got smoke detector co detector and right up there is your antenna that you will roll up and down On your RV, camper, travel trailer, whatever you want to call it, one of the best things you can have overkill on is your tires. Try to get the highest rated tire that you can for your camper RV, and uh, it never hurts to try to get one that is way overrated for your camper. It will definitely uh, be a lot safer down the road. Well, as I said, I was very pleased with this unit. The only thing that I find a little bit uh, that I would want to change is this mattress. It does say that it's a Simmons on here, but uh, to me, I believe I would like to have something a little more comfortable. Maybe uh, add a, you can always add a top to these things to give them a little bit more cushion. So uh, no big deal. But anyway, I like to tell you the good and the bad as I see it. There was a lot of great things I love about this particular unit. Hey folks, if y'all would down in the description or uh, down in the comments below, y'all leave me some of your opinions. I'd love to know what you thought about this particular one. Did y'all like it as much as I did? Hey, I tell you what, I'd give this thing a nine. Sure would. So uh, anyway, I appreciate y'all spending some time with me today. I hope to see y'all real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.